I'm Fran. And I'm Sal. And we're here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn at the Big Ragu. So at the Big Ragu, we specialize in Milan-style pizza. The Milan-style pizza is similar to a Sicilian pie, but it's cooked more like a souffle. Because they cook in such a hot oven, they have to use a lot of sauce on the top so the crust doesn't burn. And as it cooks, the sauce reduces, and then they take it out and they just put the mozzarella on top. So it's almost like a pizza souffle. It's light, it's airy, it's, you know, it's full of sauce and cheese. It's fattening. It's delicious. It it's is undeniably delicious. delicious. Yeah. It's something that a lot of people that have never been to Milan haven't experienced yet. And, uh, you know, we just hope everybody loves it. Not that many pioneers out there. Very good answer, Sal. Very good answer. So the way we make our dough, we do a simple dough with uh, water, salt, yeast, and we throw a little shortening instead of oil. I kind of use my hand, you know, for ingredients. I kind of feel it. So I've been doing it my whole life. It's like bocce ball. It's all feeling. Sounds good at bocce ball. I let it mix for a while, not too long, and then I roll it up with the hands, old school style. We let it sit for a long period of time, put it in oil, put it in the proofing box, take it out of the proofing box, I stretch it in a pan nicey nice, put a little sauce on it, in the oven. We use a, a recipe from the 70s from a cookbook author. Her name was Marcella Hazan. She used to hang with like Julia Child. She introduced a sauce that's so simple that it, you know, mixed up the whole cookbook world. And it went, I guess, from back then, viral. And everybody was making it because it was so simple. So she would just take a small can of tomatoes, take an onion, cut it in half, five tablespoons of salted butter, and put it on medium heat, 45 minutes, and it's done. And I taste it. I couldn't believe how delicious and how simple it was. Hence the name, the Big Ragu. Granted, there's no meat in the sauce. Yeah. It's the big sauce. It's all about the sauce. The sauce is the boss. We use a, a more of a New York style pizza cheese for this pizza. It's sliced on a slicing machine. It's sliced a little bit thicker than the way you would get it in a deli. You know, we just cover the entire top of the pizza with the pizza cheese, the mozzarella. And when we put it back in the oven, we don't cook it well done. We cook it where it's just melted all the way through, but it's not crispy or burnt at all. We cook the pies in an 800 degree oven that actually rotates and it cooks over a heating element. So you actually get heat from the bottom. So in Milan, they have to use the embers from the wood to crisp the bottom of the pie because in a Neapolitan oven, you get mostly top heat and not bottom heat. Our oven was designed to get hot on the bottom because it gets hit with the flame from underneath. What you're trying to achieve is, you know, a consistency that's cooked and it's not raw, but it's doughy. It's not like a Sicilian slice where it's crispy all the way through. When you cut it into it, man, you pull it out of the pan and the cheese just stretches and everything. It's just, it's so awesome. Me and Sal are first cousins, and we've been, you know, best friends since we've been literally babies, little kids. I'm born in Brooklyn, but I grew up in Staten Island. You know, a lot of people don't know about Staten Island. It's still the forgotten borough. But in the pizza world lately, I mean, it's emerged as this beacon of like, hey, the best pizza's in Staten Island. And you know something? They're right. There's a lot of great pizza in Staten Island, and we were a big part of that. You know, we had a pizzeria restaurant in Staten Island forever. The Basilis restaurant, Forest Avenue. Yeah. Uh, that's where it all started. I can say that finding somebody that you can be in business with is a big challenge. Finding somebody that you can be in business with and like to spend time with, that's like, you know, the best thing in the world, you know? So, you know, me and my cousin, we started out as, of course, first cousins and best friends and then became partners and it's, you know, it's great. It's, it's a dream come true. We're very lucky.